Today I fucked up by refusing to give tea to a Chinese senator. I got a job at a fine dining sushi restaurant as what I hoped would be a casual summer job. Today in particular we closed at 10 p.m. However this one particular table was still sitting around at 10.45 p.m. with no intentions to leave soon and I just wanted to go home. Well this table asked for a tea refill and I said that we washed the teapot and I can give hot water instead. Well the guy sitting there got really pissed off at that and started telling me off in English, Japanese, and Chinese to really make sure I understood that I am wrong. The whole table was moderately drunk and I was pretty tired from working 10 hours so I just said I understand and walked away. I even made tea after and gave it to him anyways even though the teapot was already washed. I guess he never gets told no though because he made the owner of the restaurant come to the table and bow and apologize. The restaurant owner told the senator guy that this is his greatest shame in 20 years opening this restaurant and even bowed on his knees. I honestly wasn't about to bow and sincerely apologize over this because he was being so rude to me so I made a half-assed apology and said I'm sorry you feel this way. This guy then proceeds to throw around our server trays and keep telling me off. He already paid the bill so he just left after. I didn't know that he was some millionaire Chinese senator come to the restaurant a couple times a year. The other servers told me later all this and that he's always very drunk and rude but because he is so powerful and rich they just deal with it too long did not read. I didn't give a powerful politician customer tea the first time he asked and he threw a temper tantrum. Yeah, you know what? Fuck him. In my opinion the owner should have given staff a heads up about this guy and asked for volunteers to stay and cater to VI passhole for extra pay. I would never treat any customer special just because of their money, especially if they don't pay me more. Idgaf about the owner. If I have to take that kind of abuse, then I would probably tell off the owner as well. Imagine having all that money and still not being able to afford manners or common courtesy. Yeah fuck that dude. And fuck your boss too. If he wants to throw away his dignity to bow down to that guy he should just do it himself instead of expecting his employees to stay late past closing just to serve some asshole who thinks he's way more important than he really is. Everyone should be treated the same. I don't think you did anything wrong. Today I fucked up by mentioning I was Jewish online. So I, 14 female, don't usually use social media platform like TikTok, Instagram, and etc. A friend of mine recently told me to get Discord though, and added me to a large server with dozens of random people whom I didn't know. Most said they were my age or a bit older, and many made immature jokes and stuff but that's to be expected of kids my age on the internet ya know? But everyone seemed nice enough. So anyway, I thought everything was going fine until somehow the topic changed to religion. Many of the people in the server started sharing their, well, very strong opinion on religion. At some point they noticed I wasn't interacting much and they asked me what I thought. I told them I wasn't super comfortable discussing my opinion, but the real reason was that I knew that they wouldn't agree with me based on what had already been shared. They then started bashing on Islam and that made me a bit upset. I told them that it wasn't fair to treat people like horrible people or terrorists just because of their religion. I also mentioned that as a Jewish person myself who has to deal with harmful stereotypes all the time it made me very upset and uncomfortable. The whole server blew up with people who I thought liked me suddenly calling me a colonizer and a murderer and bring up the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. After sending me death threats and telling me to KMS they banned me from the server. So yeah. I deleted the app but my friend is now mad at me and saying that she refuses to speak to me for making her look like an idiot in front of her online friends. Looking back on it I should have just ignored the conversation and not said anything but well, too late now. TLR I mentioned I was Jewish on Discord and now friend won't talk to me and I keep getting death threats. Edit 1. Wow I did not expect this to blow up. I thank everyone for giving me advice in the comments and I have spoke to my friend on the issue. I explained it to her in simplistic terms that if she continued to let herself see past all these red flags regarding her online friends, it would come back to hurt her in the future. She is still being stubborn and not talking to me, but I have the feeling she's only doing it out of spite if anything. I stopped talking to her, but honestly it's still really hard because she was one of my only friends for years and now she's suddenly like a different person. I also found out that she has been posting many extremely racist and harmful things on social media, which baffled me. I sent her a long message saying that the person I am friends with would never have posted such things, and I can no longer support her if she's going to continue to act this way. 
I'm now just waiting on her response, and on the matter of pressing charges. I honestly don't want the drama of it. Most of the threats were crudely typed and none of the people had any of my information, and I don't think even my friend would have sunk low enough to give them any of it. I did inform my parents who were disappointed in me for joining the online group in the first place, but they told me they were proud that I handled the situation responsibly and stood up for myself. Sue, yay. That person is not your friend. That person is not your friend and people are assholes. Screw M. You deserve better. Find new friends who aren't so shallow. Good for you for getting rid of a person in your life who was pretending to be your friend at this relatively low cost. Sincerely, fellow Jew. I suppose at 14 you're probably too young to have crucified Jesus yourself. I don't know, dodged a teen bullet here. You're not responsible for the conflict there. Report the death threats. Keep evidence such as emails and take screenshots. As to your friend, they are only concerned about themselves, so, unless you've already dropped them, have a good think about it. Can you still trust them?